Hello, I am Judith Peterson. I'm a psychotherapist, primarily in the Jungian tradition, and I want to talk today about the ego. This part that we call I, we call me, is called the ego. And we often differentiate what we call the small ego, the little I, from the greater I, because there is parts of us bigger than the part we call I that's larger than the ego. And we have some difficulties with egos taking over where we think I am the biggest thing that's called egocentric. And then we have another problem where I is just plain too little. Who cares about little old me? And we do not feel or claim our power. These are imaged sometimes as a huge ocean liner on a tiny pond. That would be the egocentric ego. Or the powerless ego, like a little canoe in a storm, bashed back and forth with no control. But the kind of ego that we want, the working ego, could be compared to a tugboat. And its job is to pull in the greater ocean liner. It's a working ego. So what might be the work of this ego? When challenges come, what in us can get to the, the healing help, can solve the problem, can do the work that is needed? That's the working ego. And it will usually need ways of connecting to the greater, such as um, meditation or prayer or good, clear thinking or being coming more active or practicing what needs doing. It knows what is needed and then does the work of bringing in the greater. And this is the source of, of a power and growth in life and learning what our problems are all about, how we can take a problem or a wound or a hurt and bring in the greater, in a way, the, the benefit of that hurt is to learn something. And we can bring in the, the medicine the greater truth that helps, helps the person become larger and larger and larger and more connected with the greater truth that is bigger than the small I. Thank you. This is Judith Peterson.